Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, and oh, all oh, through the vault, oh. not a creature was stirring, not even a malt. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I just, I just improv that. I'm like Eminem. Uh, <laughs> begrudgingly, that was pretty good. Be because I'm listening to you. It's like yeah. oh, I see where you're going. Dude, you're right. You don't have. Holy God, he got it! <laughs> <laughs> Landed it on malt. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, it, it's relevant. It fits. It's on theme. Mm hmm. I'm impressed. Maybe I'll write the whole thing. Genuinely. Well, for the vault. Do you think you'll I'll do, do it? it? You'll do it? Yeah. Okay, okay. If I do do it, it'll be in the description of this video. So, this was a gift from Chad and Sarah from It's Bourbon Night. Oh, well, it's an amazing channel. It's Bourbon Night, another YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to link that in the description freaking below. No, <laughs> well, all righty then. Chad and Sarah, you magnificent bastards. They brought us this from. Silverback Distillery in Virginia. So they brought this. All I know is it won Best Cast Strength Bourbon at the New Orleans Bourbon Don't Festival. Don't tell me these things because now it looks like whenever I start saying amazing things, that you're just I'm just like oh, oh other just people like bourbon. No, on the nose, man. Already, this I is. will tell you that I like the story about this. So this is a mother daughter distilling team. Raw, right? right? They right run. On. They own the distillery. Yeah, and. Uh, Christine was walking through the Rick house right. and noticed that a barrel was leaking badly and dark. Oh. So it's, they pulled that barrel and that's this. 179 bottles, that's all they got out of it. Oh. Right? And so, on the nose, flavors that are so velvety, but multi-layered. Yes. yes. Multi-layered and velvety, rich and rounded. It's like a velvet Elvis painting. No. <laughs> no. It's not that at all. <laughs> it's like one of those velvet... Blankets that had lions and zebras that you used to put on your water bed. It's like you're not even trying. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Okay, so on the nose, I, I love how Savory rich and savory these bourbon flavors are presented. Yeah, it is way more grain and meaty than dark sweet candy But it's not green and it's not overly barrel bitter, right? In my head These are the kinds of flavors that you get whenever you strike at that barrel at that perfect moment in time where the flavors have become very saturated and matured and rounded and they're they're intermingling with each other. You have these multiple layers, but it hasn't gone that last that last little critical inch where it starts to get tannic. Yeah. I'm not getting woodiness on the nose. This at is all. batch one and right. this is fifty six percent alcohol. Okay, this this smells like luxurious bourbon. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh whoa, there's this super pepper zing that just strikes through the middle of this thing. Yeah. Oh, and it stays with you. Mm. And it's like the the spiciness, the spiciness of pepper. <clears throat> you know what it's like? And you know what? Oh, oh. It's a, go ahead. There's the right. pepper, right? And here's here's the the, pro, the the climax of the taste hole, right here. <laughs> and the pepper goes. No, no. First it's. Alright, so there's the pepper. I heard this is the bell ringing the bell at the chapel. You get this. Bing, and it's a sharp strike. Okay. But the tone is deep and sonorous. Okay. Boom, right? right? Yeah. But there's a sharp, loud, bronzy kind of strike. I think we're glossing over the most strike. important thing that's happened within the last five minutes. Mm. The phrase, taste hole. Taste hole. <laughs> well, it goes right to your taste hole. <laughs> <laughs> the pepper's not subsiding. Every sip, it comes back. I wonder if that's just proof. I'm getting also so there's a barrel. really rich cherry and caramel playing nicely with each other. I think if I had to choose the two dominant notes, the two dominant <laughs> notes, it would be a caramel and a cherry. But there's a savory quality to those things, and I keep going back to the nose because I think I like the nose a little bit better than the, than the taste. I like the taste. I love the nose. Oh wow! I put a little water in. It came out as green grass. Mm -hmm. Wah. Coats oh. everything. Okay. Do you want to see what happens with the water? Swell, totally changes. It swells it. up. And this let's let's not get um, let's not just gloss over the fact that these are squarely bourbon flavors. Mm -hmm. I think the way these um, classic bourbon flavors are being presented and how they're balanced against each other, really, really nice. Do you want to try the water? It changes it I mean, completely. I, I have so few whiskey I need so little water. This is a present. That's why I did it. It's Christmas Eve. This is a present from Chad and Sarah. Don't you owe me like three Glenn Farkless 15s? Wasn't that the thing? <sighs> is that how I edited the video? <laughs> I forgot to go back and watch that to find out what I owe you. <laughs> <laughs> it turns into green grass in the nose. 
Okay. And then all of the pepper tannin takes over the palate. A lot of that sweetness that you're talking about, a little bit of water and it obliterates it. See what I mean? Ooh, I think I the like The grain it. and grass. I think I like the taste better with a, l a little drop of water. I do, but the nose is gone. <gasps> no, because I like the nose as is, out of the yeah. bottle, but I like the taste yeah. with a little bit of water. You ready? Let's yeah. try an experiment. <laughs> so you have a nosing glass, yeah. and you have a tasting glass yeah. with a so little water. Yours is the water tasting glass, and this one's the smelling glass. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see? Now, then while you're sipping it, sip, nose it, nose it. <laughs> Did it work? Did you get the best of both worlds? I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Just to... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that's an exceptional whiskey. I love that. It's a good one, huh? Wow. Brown sugar, I think, is a note I've been neglecting. I'm purple? getting way more honey, yes. Butterscotch, maybe. Brown sugar? Okay. I don't I'm know gonna if it's go going searching. that dark. I'm going to go searching for the brown sugar. Gotta keep going back to the nose. And it's man, so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You smell it and you just go. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do a bourbon called Blackback Bourbon. Mm -hmm. That's total. That's their actual, like, blends and barrels bourbon. I'd be interested to try that one sometime. Uh, no, I'm not really fond of the brown sugar. Nicholas Lichko. 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 As a fellow Austinite, what would you say is the best whiskey bar in town? The best. Whiskey bar in town, the best. I still think seven grand is probably it. For selection or environment? Selection. Or, okay. And environment's pretty cool. The, when they have bands playing, it's impossible to hear yourself think. But the space is super cool, and they let you smoke cigars on the back patio. Then Peche's good, which is on Forest Street. Right. Peche has a really great selection. Uh, Roosevelt Room, yeah, really great. Yeah, and then there's a ton of bars in Austin that are just cool and have good whiskey, but not necessarily an amazing selection. Ongia, what should be the new bastard's rating system? There was a suggestion in here I kind of liked. You see, he's referring to how many guts would you sacrifice for yeah. this whiskey? Yeah, and then you. Yeah. Um, what would you sacrifice for this whiskey? Answer: a chicken and two dung beetles. <laughs> that's, a, that's a low. That's a Canadian whiskey. <laughs> I'd sacrifice for this one. I mean, like. For, so, am I comparing it to all whiskeys ever or bourbons? Bourbons. I think bourbons. This is like the top five percent of bourbons I've had. Okay, so like a legitimate animal. A mammal. Like a family. Like a mammal for sure. Like a family horse. Something that you could possibly name. Oh, yeah. Okay, see, so it's a named animal. It's gonna hurt, man. Yeah. It's gonna hurt. This it's is, like Old Yeller. This is a cherished... It's like putting down Old Yeller. Cherished whiskey. <laughs> is that... Can you believe the movies we watched when we were kids that everyone's like, it's fine. Right. And it's like some guy's <laughs> like... Oh, I don't want to shoot him. Good <laughs> dog's growling at him, trying to kill him. It's like, have fun. It's Disney. Right. I remember, like, just now, I sent my kid off. I said, make sure you text every 20 minutes so we know where you are. Uh, 20 years ago, my mom. All right, be back by dark. Have fun playing in the abandoned quarry. <laughs> and we did. And we did. And um, we're still here. And, and the more I go back to this, the more the cherry holds strong. Yeah. And the honey and the caramel are still there, but the dominant note is that cherry, and it's still yep. velvety, rich, rounded, matured. Beautiful bourbon, and I wish you wouldn't have told me anything about the award winning because I would have gone on and on and on And then you would have said and it's winning awards and I'd be like I know right? I know shit. That's how I just re-edit it. So what did you get me for Christmas? <sighs> Here's to fighting stealing and drinking. If you fight me I fight for a friend. If you steal me you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink May, may you drink, drink with us. With us.